Hey friends, Jeffy G here. I gotta admit, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to synths, and yet I'm a complete novice when it comes to sound design. I get a thrill out of finding the forgotten synths of the past, or even a free synth or something that's largely undiscovered. And I'm amazed by some of the sounds you can get at either free or very low cost. Yuhi has come to the market with something called Zebra Legacy, which is the sum of Zebra 2 and a bunch of presets and packages and other components that make it a very compelling value. First of all, it comes with 3,800 presets that have been accumulated since the invention of Zebra 2. It came out back in 2007, so it's certainly not new, but there's a very well-established community, including people like Hans Zimmer that have made great use of this synth. It's still relevant today and it sounds awesome. If you've never heard of Yuhi and their reputation for high quality synths, just stop this video right now. Go to the link up above or look for the link down in the description. Go to their website and you can download several free synths. Once you're on the Yuhi website, click on the products link to see all of the synthesizers they offer. You can take a look at each one. There's some really interesting stuff there. But if you're looking for free, which is a great place to start, consider downloading this Tyrell N6 synth. It's really good and it's an excellent introduction. In addition to that, there is a version of Zebra called Zebraletta that is free and that's worth downloading too. It's kind of a stripped down version of the Zebra 2 synth but it is highly functioning and it'll give you a great introduction. Another synth that I've used for years from Yuhi that's free is this Triple Cheese. Gotta get that. At first I thought this would give me those cheesy 80s sounds but this synth makes extensive use of comb filters and it's excellent. The presets are fun. There's lots of great sounds. The amazing features of the Zebra Legacy Legacy collection start with number one, the presets. There's just so many of them. And remember, it's the sum of all the sound sets and factory capabilities that have been released over the last decade. Number two is the NKS compatibility. If you're a native instruments user with complete control or machine to software, this is how you can use it. It also gives you an alternative method for the tagging and searching for content. Number three is Zebrify Effects. I'm gonna explain this later in the video, but it's an amazing tool and there's nothing else like it. I'm surprised more people don't use it. Number four, the developers at Yuhi have refurbished more than 500 of the presets for this XY pad assignment capability, which is ideal for performance and just fun to play with. Number five, last but not least, if you buy the Legacy Collection, you'll also get Zebra 3 at a reduced price. And we're already seeing clues and hints about what's coming in Zebra 3. It looks great and it's very exciting. When you install the Zebra Legacy Collection, you're gonna get multiple synthesizers. We're gonna start with just looking at Zebra 2 and the presets. So I've got it open here and this is what the synth looks like. And that's what it sounds like. I'll go over the details of how this synth works and how things are laid out. But if you click on presets, you'll get this view of how all of those presets are organized. You can navigate here by clicking on a preset. And you'll see things are organized by sound. So you've got uh, organs and basses. <laughs> Then outside of that organization by sound type, you've got banks. And this was how uh, Yuhi and the community released different sounds. So you've got factory sounds over here. Lots to choose from. And you can see different releases of the factory sounds all the way up to some more current stuff. So the banks are a really interesting way to see how this synth has evolved. You can search by tags, uh, but one of the things I find most interesting is you can also look at presets by author. So if you pick a particular author and you say, hey, I really like this stuff by Howard Scar, pick on something. Say, this is a guy I like, I like his sounds. 
-hmm. You see off to the right, there's usually details about where that preset is located and some uh, clues as to what features are being used. So this is uh, using pads and organs and it's making use of a certain modulator. So this, the character is really defined over here in the description and you can navigate through these and find the things that you like and you can right click on it to mark it as a favorite and you can have up to eight different groups of favorites. I find that useful because I'll find a particular author of sounds that I like and I end up liking more of their stuff. And you can search, uh, you know, you can type in tags or, um, or partial names and that will limit your search to different categories. So if I'm looking for leads and I can pick a lead. You can look at my favorites. I have a thing for some of the arpeggiated sounds in this synth. I just find them really amazing. They're so thorough and complicated. Without doing a full tutorial on how Zebra 2 works as a synth and programming the synth and doing sound design, I'm just going to give you a high level view. On the left, you've got your sound sources or sound generators. On the right, you've got modulators. And in the middle, you've got this matrix, which really controls the routing and the patching. There's four streams, linear, you can see you can break things up. And by adding things into that uh, linear patch, you're adding either generators or modulators. And then down at the bottom, you've got your global controls. A single sound source like an oscillator, oscillator one, can be, you can have up to four of them and they are all the same, but learning how one of them works and then making modifications to that one will teach you how to make complex sounds with all four. So you've got global settings, you've got four oscillators, You've got an FM synthesis. Uh, you've got these MSEG. MSEG is multi-stage envelope generator. Very cool, very nerdy. Understanding how these things work will really broaden your sound design capabilities. Then you've got an arpeggiator, very flexible and capable. And then you've got these XY pads. And the XY pads are really designed for performance. They're fully configurable. If up in the top you click on the perform, you're gonna see these XY pads. And I'll, I'll give you an example of how they work. So as an example, on this particular preset, I've got a noise generator, two comb filters, and then I've got modulators like an envelope, an LFO, and another LFO, and some other things on the right here. And the patching or the way sound flows through this is handled all in the middle. And you can add to that patching by selecting any of these parameters. It's quite an extensive list, different oscillators, different voltage control filters, long, long list. I'll just go over what some of those are. And then on the global settings in the middle here, you've got uh, all your effects. You'll see there's EQ, uh, distortion, and Again, long, long list, delays, modifiers, shapers, ring modulators. You can add as many of these as you want. So I've got, uh, I start playing around with these XY pads. You'll get a sense of what I'm changing. So uh, on this one over here.
pretty cool. You can assign those XY parameters to a MIDI controller and make that part of your live performance capabilities. If you were starting a new preset of your own, you'd start by clicking up in this display box, click on init, and this is kind of your starting point. One oscillator, an envelope, and an LFO. And you can add additional oscillators in the matrix. You could add a filter. You could add a noise generator. You could add a comb filter. As you can imagine, this could get quite extensive. You've got all these potential modulators that you can add. Gates, filters, envelopes, arpeggiators, very long list of features that will add additional capabilities to your preset definition. Now just learning how to use one of these oscillators could be quite time consuming. I'm no expert yet, but there's all kinds of parameters here for picking waves and tuning and capabilities. And one of the things I like down here is that you've got up to 16 wavetables. You can see these are all the same, but I can modify any of them. So there's number three I've just modified. If I want a bigger look at that, I can click on the editor and get this, um, this broader look at modifying a wave. But one of the ones I really like is the spectral blend. In this editor, you can actually draw whatever wave table you want, however strange and bizarre you want it to be. Open it in the editor. Obviously, you can save your own wave tables and, and forms, and you can have 16 per oscillator. As if Zebra 2 wasn't the most powerful synth, wasn't enough in this package, you also get Zebra HZ, which is a version of the Zebra synth from Hans Zimmer. And it, it features some additional capabilities, still looks quite similar as you can see, but it's got other things built in, like the Diva VCF filter from the Diva synth from Yuhi. And there's just other features that are built into this that are quite extensive looks a little bit different and the presets in here are going to look familiar but it's really going to focus on the dark zebra presets from Hans Zimmer which are just really amazing sounding If these sound cinematic, it's because they are. They are patches that have been used in movies and sci-fi and in games. They're just spectacular sounding. So you've got Zebra 2, you've got Zebra HZ, the Hans Zimmer Dark Zebra version, and you've got one other synth included in the package. The most simple synth is Zebralette, or Zebraletta, and it is a single oscillator. It's a free synth, but it is included in the Legacy package. And this is such a great way to just learn how one of these oscillators works, and it's packed with presets as well. <laughs> mentioned that one of the amazing features is the NKS compatibility. So this was number two on my list. So if you use complete control, this is great because you've got, you know, 3,800 additional presets that come with the Zebra Legacy collection. How do you navigate through all that? Well, obviously there's the browser that's comes delivered, 
but it will also work with complete control. If you scroll down to the bottom of your instruments, you'll see Zebra 2, and you can open one of these. And it'll open up the synth for you. Um, you've got all the typical complete control capabilities. It's just another great way to navigate through the sounds. And you can use all the filtering mechanisms that are built into complete control environment to narrow down what you're looking for, preview. And listen to the patches. So if you're a native instruments person that uses uh, a machine, or you use complete control within your DAW, this is just a really handy way to go about it. You can see down at the bottom, you've got both Zebra 2 and Zebra HZ, which is the Hans Zimmer version, the dark version. There's just so much there, it, uh, it's amazing. Imagine you're into sound design and you start with something very simple like say, Logic's Retro Synth. You open up that synth and pick a preset that's pretty basic. You wanna do something interesting to that? Open Zebrify Effects, and what that's giving you is access to all of the generators and modulators and modifiers that are built into the Zebra Synth, but starting with your Retro Synth patch. So by turning this on, I get a totally different sound, and this is so fun to play with. Not only is it a tool that you can tweak and modify to start with any sample or any synth sound, but it's also something that you can save presets. And remember, what you have here is all the strength of the matrix in the middle here. You can add effects. So if I want to add, say, a reverb, I can add one in here and change all the parameters of that reverb and make it my own. And there's just so much flexibility there. It's, uh, it's crazy. When I first opened this, I thought, this is so awesome. I can't think of anything like it. Now, there are other tools that you could use. There are MIDI effects from uh, the vendor. You know, you could install uh, a modifier or a chord trigger or arpeggiator, uh, a transposer. Um, there's even some modulation audio effects uh, that come delivered. There is the Logic Multi Effects, which has a bunch of these things. It does have a filter, distortion, some effects, but there's nothing quite as extensive as the Zebra effects. Like all of my videos, I try to bring you something new and exciting, even though this is an older synth. If you haven't used it, it's time to rediscover what Zebra Legacy is all about. If you like what's in this video, click on the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. I do have certain goals in mind and I'm trying to achieve them and you can help me get there. And you may want to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever I come up with new videos. Thanks for watching.